You shut your dick. Hello. I want to teach you some things. So, um, I've seen a lot of people struggling with roofing. Now you see I've got a mostly formed house on the outside here. The inside's empty because we're not going to focus on the inside today. But I'm going to show you some roofing techniques that I used. And Little Simsy covers a lot of these too. I'll link uh, a, um, a video of hers from her Builder's Bible that I think is really helpful that has a lot of these in it. But I'm going to show you. We'll start first of all with something that I've seen people doing. And I'll explain why I don't do it and um, what the alternatives are. So they'll put a roof like that, and then they'll have another roof like here. And this is something, this is a mistake we all make in the beginning. And Sims 2 was the first time you could do configurable roofs, because uh, before it just auto-roofed everything. So you'll see people do that. And it doesn't quite look right, is the thing. You'll see houses that are like this in real life, but this right here is a problem. And it just doesn't look like it almost looks right there. If you didn't have the ports there and you didn't have the overhang, it looks correct. But normally houses that are like this also have a roof connecting them in the middle. And we're too, we're too busy for that. So let me show you how I do it. Normally I will take the roof all the way over like that. And I know that seems really boneheadedly simple. And that's why a lot of people avoid it because they want to do something a little fancier. But trust me, Trust me, trust me, it doesn't take something fancy. All it takes is knowing how to do it. So there we go, we've got a second floor, or we've got an attic rather, is what we've got. Because you'll notice, you can't see in there when the walls are up. No matter what setting you use, your walls have to be down, which I play with the walls down usually when I'm doing gameplay. But I know not everybody does. But you're not gonna be able to see what anyone's doing on the second floor with the walls up because this roof doesn't go anywhere. So I'll show you a way around that. What you want to do is grab this roof. It says half gabled roof. Um, you'll hear it called that sometimes in architecture, but sometimes it's also called a shed roof. So bring that all the way to this side, right? Actually, hold on. Before you do that, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm a fucking idiot. Make sure your grid is turned on or you will make mistakes. Because I do it day and night because I think I'm too good for that grid and then I make mistakes. So it doesn't matter how your roof goes on because you can rotate it with these buttons or with the little arrows on the keyboard that I don't use. But you can use, you can use your keyboard, I'm just not used to it. So we've got one side. Rather than go through all of that bullshit again, hit this, copy. Line it up, paste. Now that looks pretty stupid, right? But stay with me. Rotate, rotate. There you go. Done. Now, you notice every roof piece has two sets of arrows. They've got a big arrow and a little arrow. The big arrow controls the size of the roof and the little arrow controls the overhang of the roof. For this top piece, I will always, if you want to hold, see if you do, if you just grab these, it'll take both sides. But in this case, we want to leave the bottom overhang. So hold down shift on your keyboard and just take down the top part instead. Ta-da. Fancy. And then come up here. and just expand that roof using the big arrows. Make sure it fits. And if you want, you can take the overhang up. Well, actually just don't hold shift on this one because we'll do both sides. We want them to be even. Actually, it looks better if you leave it like it is with this particular roof texture. Some textures don't, some textures it just depends. So, Put our siding on. Now remember all the pieces because there are going to be four pieces to paint rather than one in this case. 
and then put your windows in, obviously, so your Sims and little bitches can see out. And you'll notice now, you can see in, even without doing anything with the walls, you can see into the second floor, right? And you can have your walls half up and still see in. But let's say you want more than that, right? Let's say that you want sort of an extension to the roof. Let's say what you want is a dormer window. That's what those are called. So let's go ahead and create one. We're going to put the walls down just to see a little bit better. Because I'm fucking old and my eyesight is going. Uh, we're going to do two different kinds. We're going to do a long one like this. Like what you'd see on a bungalow. Which is a specific type of house. Please stop naming everything bungalow. It's not just a word you throw around. The next time I see a Victorian bungalow, I'm going to scream. They are two different architectural styles. Google it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry for being an architecture snob, but it annoys me. And this is my video, so I'm going to rant. So we've got our boxes drawn. Take out these walls here. Speaking of bungalow and the misuse of the word, uh, the Sims team themselves have uh, named one of these houses something bungalow and it's not a it's not a bungalow i think it's one of the other sections of the world and i just want to tell you if that's what you're using as your basis for that that's that's not that's not the t because they're they're software engineers and and you know software developers they're not they're not architecture people their their knowledge of houses is real world knowledge and that's what most of us have but you know the term bungalow refers to a specific type of architecture now you'll notice if we had taken this roof up the way i wanted to like that you'll notice that we've got these annoying little things here and there are ways to get rid of that and i'll show you because it's over here too so let's, let's put our walls up here. I hope nobody was offended by my bungalow rant. I'm just telling you, as somebody who's studied architecture for most of their lives, um, you know, both in school and just in life, uh, I'm here to educate you on architectural terms. I'm not even explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing <laughs> instead of just doing it like an asshole. Grab the big arrow. Take it all the way to the side of your dormer window. Make sure it lines up. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then copy. Because no one wants to have to do that again. Now, we've got this empty space here, right? Let's take shift click and drag this overhang and that overhang. So we can get a clear view of how many squares that is. That is seven squares by one square. So let's copy this. And I'll show you a trick. Bring it down here. Now, we're going to do this other side too. Because ain't nobody needs overhangs in the middle of the roof. Take this down to one square. So we've got two squares we're going to do with the big arrow. Three, four, five, six, seven. I hope I counted that right. That's eight. Good job, us. Did I mention I'm a fucking idiot? I'm a fucking idiot. So that's seven now. You're just going to have to deal with my fuckery because it's, it's not going anywhere. If you watch my channel, you're aware of this. So we don't have a problem. And if you don't watch my channel, we have a problem and we're going to fight. So <laughs> fucking get ready to <laughs> get ready to fight. So we're going to do something similar over here, but we've got a bit of a different situation because there are two separate dormers. So I'm going to pull this over to the outside section of the dormer and then copy and paste over here oh the fuck did i just do copy paste apparently i moved it instead of copying it and you'll do that occasionally it just means the <laughs> it just means you're stupid in my case copy paste because I've got 20 years of experience. If you do it, you've got an excuse. You can be like, well, I'm not used to this. But me, after 20 fucking years, you'd think I would know this stuff. 
So we're going to shift click, bring this in like that. Don't hold shift on this one and that way it brings them both in and then shift click on this one to bring it in. Now, let's come over back over here, copy this piece, take it over here where there's space in the yard. We're going to rotate it and then we're going to make it, let's see, this is one by two. Oh, it's good to be on the correct floor so you can see your grid. Otherwise, you're just kind of, you're winging it, which is not great. Copy, paste. All right. Okay, so now you'll notice when we go down here, the roof thing is gone. Amazing, right? Fantastic. Let's get our sighting on. Okay, so now we need uh, roofs for this. So in this case, let's just get a regular roof. Doesn't matter which way it faces because we can rotate it. Take this down to the correct size. So it would be two squares in this case. So we've got two squares. Now you want to do your siding right away because if you've got your sighting on and you copy it, it will bring it over exactly as it was. In fact, it'll do everything. Roof pattern, trim, everything that's on that roof will come over. So let's do this roof right here. We're going to start with just a normal a shed roof like this because this is a shed dormer is what they call it. Take it down to two squares. You can see that's two squares now. So I decided to actually do it correctly. So that is seven. That is seven squares across. Let's take it up there first and we'll, we'll uh, adjust the size once we're up there. Now, something that I've seen that I just want to have another rant about. We get click happy. Let's take this back. This shit. This shit. I don't know if people just don't understand when they look at a house plan, when they're looking at the house from the outside, that the roof just doesn't actually go like that on a dormer roof. Very, very rarely will you see a roof like that on a traditional house. This is more of a, a mid-century modern thing. On a house like this, you're not going to see that. Also this, hold on. We'll get it back approximately the same level. Don't leave it like that either. It's, it never does that. So take that back down to where it was. We're going to take the big arrow and bring it across. Okay. And actually, I think I'll take it back out to three squares because I'm indecisive. Now, the thing that you want to do with this is make sure that this top edge of the roof is inside this roof. Bring it down with this big arrow up here until it looks like, there we go, like it's buried in the roof like that. That's ideal. We're going to get our window there. Don't forget your uh, sighting because you will regret it later if you don't. And let's put some windows there. I don't think those other windows are going to work. The shutters will go into the trim and it'll look, it'll look fucked up. So there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do this roof here. And I'm going to move this window over just a little bit because it's going to get rid of it otherwise. Let me just check something here. Okay. All right. So let's grab another roof. Because I would copy one of these. You could copy one of the dormer window roofs. But I like to do things the hard way. Because I'm an idiot. Now this is already the right pitch. Right? Everything's fine there. But what if your roof was like this? You got a problem there. Because they don't line up at all. Right? So what you would do in that case. You notice these overlap. If you grab this and pull it down, you want to watch right here, this area right here. The closer it gets to being completely white, 
the closer it will be to the correct pitch. That is just about the same pitch. But we're going to undo that because our roof wasn't like that. We've got the correct roof already. So, one thing you'll notice, once we get our thing on here, is these default trim pieces that come with the house don't all line up at all. And I don't know why that is. And you know, I used this for a long time without even noticing that. And that's unfortunate. But what you can do about that is to select a different trim. I usually go with the square roof trim. It's not too big. It doesn't look crazy when you put it on. And you have to make sure you get every roof piece that we put down. And I know that's a lot of roof pieces. Bear with me here. Just get every roof piece. You'll have the most on this side. That's all of them so far. So you notice now everything looks all nice and flush except for the roof pattern. Some of the roof patterns just don't play well with themselves, which is hysterical to me. Hysterical. Good job, me. I was an English major for a while. And it shows. So you notice it still doesn't quite go. But make sure you get every single roof piece. It's a pretty collar, I think. Now, let's shift click and bring this in. I thought that would fix that um, where it doesn't quite match with the overlap, but sometimes you just have to get used to stuff. It's just the way it is. Now, for this, there is a way to actually make this look a little more solid too. Get your same trim that you're using for the roof and put it up to the wall here on a roof piece. And it just makes that border a little bit wider, makes it a little more uniform. It's kind of like what you would really see in real life. Just want to see something okay yeah that would look cool i experiment a lot like that <laughs> so i apologize if i uh um wander a little bit now rather than getting a new roof let's take this roof because this is just about the right pitch take it down here to the first floor make sure it's clear of everything because you're going to rotate this bitch until it's the right size so this porch is two by four so we're going to take it down to two and we're going to take it down to four now this thing has the trim and everything already so we don't have to do that let's take it up here and see how it goes Pretty good. It fits pretty good. Now, this doesn't have the trim piece on there, so I would put the trim on there just to finish it up. And there we go. Got a nice finished house. Everything looks nice, right? Looks like kind of what you'd expect, but there's more to it. So let's say you want a different porch roof. Let's say you don't want that one. There are different ways you can do this. Let's do this one. This is called the half-hipped roof. I'd say that's accurate. That's an accurate name. Put that right there. And you can rotate it if you need to. It shouldn't get rid of anything. Bring it out to the edge. Okay, so that matches up. Except the fucking overhang is wrong. And that dates back to the beginning of Sims 4 when you couldn't change overhangs and they were just different. You'll notice a lot of base game houses from Willow Creek and Oasis Springs have that problem and they just kind of work around them. But in this case, we can extend that. And you have to you have to excuse my sniffling. I'm having some allergies at the moment. I promise it's not drugs, it's allergies. <laughs> Put the trim piece on. Grab the roof texture. Just like that. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast trying to go at a pretty decent speed so that you guys can still see what I'm doing. But that looks pretty nice, right? But let's say, 
let's say you wanted a little more, let's say you want some space outside. You can hang out with your Sims out there. First of all, ignore this. I'm going to do some magic. If you don't know what this is, I feel bad for you, man. Because you can move your whole fucking house. That's this tool here. This. Boom. Click on your house. Move it like it's a piece of furniture. Pretty cool. I'm going to save it really quick. Because I know how my game is. So. Let's say you want an outdoor space. And the perfect place for it, in my opinion, is right next to the front door. Because why not? Your guests are coming up here. Maybe you don't want their fucking dirty asses in the house just yet. So we'll create... A little area where you can put some chairs and a sitting area. So, we've got the porch part. Let's get the roof on. Now, you're not going to have the same experience with this. Uh, delete that window because it's going to get rid of it. The experience is a little bit different. Now, you could create one of these roofs from scratch, but I'm going to be lazy and copy the, the dormer roof. I'm going to put it right there. We'll stretch it to the front of the house first because it's easier to see that way. You can get your bearings better. And then all the way right up to the edge of that window if you've got a window there. Now look how fucked up that looks. <laughs> oh god, that's the inside of my brain on any given day. So this is what the house looks like now. <laughs> kind of fucked up. That's fine. We can fix that. We can fix it. And the way we do that is you lower the pitch of the roof. We're going to try to take it to below where that window is. So that we can move the window back over. Oh, that didn't work out. Sometimes the game just does that. You don't know what it's doing. It's fine. Here's another trick that you might not know. Instead of using this, because if you've got packs selected, like let's say you just wanted base game, right? If you hit this eyedropper tool to try to get this window, all your selections are gone. They're all gone. However, if you have base game selected and you grab what you want, hold shift and put it back down, you've got a copy of it and your selections are still there. And that's something I struggled with for a long time. So now you know. Put our trim there just to make it look more even. And look at that. You've got a nice little outdoor sitting area. You can put another column there if you want just to make it look a little more um, a little more finished, you know. And you can do whatever you want. Some people put columns on the inside too. That's a whole other tutorial. The Victorian house tutorial. Now this looks a little weird. And that's that's expected. You can bring this up and it'll kind of be where you want it to be but there's no guarantee that you'll get it right because it all depends on the roof pitch so sometimes what I do unless I just leave it because I'm lazy is you can bring the overhang down a little bit like a crazy person and eventually it'll match and it'll look real fucked up and stupid so don't necessarily recommend that but that is an option and that overhang thing opens up a lot of possibilities if you're doing an A-frame house or something like that. Because I see a lot of people doing everything the hard way and I feel compelled to help. So, I think that's going to be it for now. There's a lot more to do with roofing. A lot more. Oh, here's another thing. One last thing. You notice how uh, right here the trim just stops. And that's because these roof pieces don't register it. Take this trim here, the roof trim you'd normally use, just like we did on these porches, and you can do that, and it'll make it look like it's a little more um, put together. And you can actually put a different color of siding up there if you want, make it fancy. I've done that before. You know, depends on what you want to do. But that's always an option. But yeah, I think that's going to be the end. Um, I'm just going to leave off there. And if it looks like you guys like this, if it helps you, let me know. Uh, you know, blow up my comments and, 
and tell me I'm fat and terrible. Um, <laughs> you guys haven't done that so far. I do that to myself. But let me know whether it helped you or not, because if it did, I'm more than willing to make more of these videos because, like I said, I've been playing a very long time. I've got a lot of uh, useless knowledge to bestow upon your foreheads, which I will do if you want. Um, so just let me know. We've got a very cute house there. I will upload it to the gallery as a shell, and that way if you want to finish it out, you can. Um, I might add some rooms inside, but, you know, it'll be on the gallery, and I'll call it <laughs> whatever I call it. I don't know. <laughs> it won't be on right away, but it'll be there eventually. So, uh, thanks for watching. I heart all your faces. Let's put a foundation on while we're talking. This is while we're talking. I heart all your faces. You're all very special to me. And that's your creepy moment for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, I take my ass away and leave now. And I hope you have a lovely day. I'm probably going to cut all this out. So, anyway, that's, that's it. Uh, it looks nothing like the houses around it, but it's not really supposed to. So, that's fine. Sometimes your house doesn't look like the ones around your house. That just means yours is better. That's what it means. So, anyway, bye. <laughs>